Hey everybody, I am here today showing you guys new Yemoja. This is new and improved. She got her passive changed so that uh, she gets your, uh, Omi based on her level. And then the last one, the last Omi is based on mana. But um, also the size of her one is bigger now, I believe. So what the heck happened to the tab screen? Why is it so like clunky? Clunky, clunky, I don't know. This is weird. All right, well, other way. We're gonna try the Bancroft start. And what I'm gonna do, dude, this menu just looks different. Am I? The relics don't look right. They look like darker. I, I don't know. It, uh, oh, you know what it probably is? Mm, no. No. Everything seems fine. Joy Chef, man. All right, I don't know what it is. But either way, uh, I am going to upload a video to uh, when you guys are seeing this, a video of Yamoja before the patch and a video of Yamoja uh, now in the new patch. Now, holy moly, that, that is a big targeter. <laughs> they said they made her targeters a little bit bigger. What on earth? That is like twice as big. Okay, I didn't know they were gonna make it that big. That is like twice as big as a targeter. Holy moly. That is a ginormous targeter for her one. That is that is way bigger than it used to be. I swear it is. Like, I don't think I'm going to miss it very often. Oh, there I go missing it, though. But you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I've just, just by seeing on Twitter and stuff, I've heard some people say that Emoja went from okay to the most broken god ever. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's see if... I mean, obviously that's Conquest and this is Duel, so... You know, I only play Duel, so we're trying to figure out where that roughly is for her. Ooh, she's taking a lot of damage. Might be able to hit her. No, oh, will not be able to hit her. Oh, may, might be able to hit her. There it is! Those are huge hitboxes. Um... Just knowing that they didn't they didn't change any of the Yamoja's numbers except for the way she gets Omi, which is based on level now and uh, only one of her Omi's based on mana. But all they changed was the size of her one, I think. I don't think they changed anything else. I'll double check. Uh, make sure to read the description because I'll have a link to the patch notes. Ooh, can I take this? Yeah, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. It's gonna be close. Ooh, 43 health. Okay. Uh, but yeah, just by playing right now, I am going to say, and you're going to, okay, Butterfingers, all right, <laughs> I didn't need Blink anyways, whatever, but either way, the, the point I'm trying to say is that since I'm uploading a video of Emoja from the last patch and the new patch today, you can compare them and kind of see the problems, like in the old patch, right, uh, not to say spoilers or anything, but I was against a hell. And it was extremely hard to hit her because of the movement speed she had and my hitbox was too tiny. I feel like if I were to have that matchup again, I would be able to do a lot better with or without the uh, the auto attack build I went, you know? I feel like it's a lot easier to know where someone's going to be. Now, I'm still missing things, but that might just be me being bad. Whereas, these are huge hitboxes. And also, I need to prioritize the wave. But these are ginormous hitboxes. So it's just, just kind of weird. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shove my minions under tower. That way she loses as much gold as possible. They also get protection, so she can't clear it as easy, which is nice. She loses a lot more gold. Try and keep her from backing. Now I would alter, except that, uh, nah, I'm fortunate. I would alter, except then she would ult me and I would be in a bad situation. I find as Yumoja, when they're backing under tower, you can always like close them off with the ult at the very end, but if they have something like Pele ult, it's probably a bad idea, because then they go on you, they're out of your ultimate, and depending on the amount of Omi you have, you might die. I don't know if I like this new tab menu. It's very console-like. Uh, the, the UI keeps moving more and more towards console, which is very... So I don't like it as a PC player, but oh well. Can't have everything. Okay, that just killed her. I That just killed her. My one did... Whoa, what is up with this screen? Now this screen is the opposite. Okay, so look at tab, how big it is. And look at this. Look how small it is. That's a bug. That's got to be a bug. I also can't turn my camera while looking at the T screen. Uh, 
But my one just did 447 damage, and her ultimate did 273. So, yeah, I'm... I, just by the tiny bit I'm playing right now, I'd say Yamoja went from maybe A to A plus to a lot higher. Uh, maybe S minus? She could be S minus, I don't know. However, that's as a Guardian main. Like, I'm used to playing like Ares Duel, dude. So, take my opinion with a grain of salt. But this is fun, this is fun. Also, I'm going to be grinding YouTube harder uh, more, you guys, so I know I keep saying that, but all I ask is if you guys support, I appreciate it. Okay, so she just left so I can take this safe and sound. Safe and sound. Now, I still think cooldown is good on her. Ooh, you can steal that? Unfortunate. That's not a good ult because she can run right behind me, but I still get the Omi regen. Still get the Omi regen, so that's not too bad. Ooh, okay. Should be fine. Get my stun. Auto attack her as much as possible. Back off. Auto attack her some more. Juke that. Bancroft's with auto attacks does a good amount of damage. I'm going to save my one here until I can guarantee hit it. There we go. That is pretty crazy. That is really hard to juke. Also, when you get Gem Viso on Yemoja now, it's going to be like... It's going to be really annoying to deal with this. But as I was saying earlier, before I keep interrupting myself, cooldown seems to be still the way to go on your mojo. You still need the cooldown for your Omi. It's still extraordinarily important. Uh, I was thinking about packing, but I might not. I might stay for one more wave. That's how I always die, but her ultimate's down, so I'll risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, if we get if we get gem, she's gonna have an extremely hard time. But do I want to get gem? Am I gonna be that guy? It is Pele. Okay. Do I wait until we're about even here? So taking this fight wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, to be honest. Whoops! Thought she was gonna go all the way into the tower. That's what she wanted me to think. That killed her! Holy moly! I am not playing that great, but it's kind of start. It's kind of starting to feel like I'm not. I don't really deserve these kills. Like at this point, because my abilities are just so big, it's hard to miss. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how to describe it. Like when I play an OP character, this is kind of how the get feeling I get, where it's like I don't know if I deserve that kill. Okay, come over here so I can ult you. Yep, 100 to know them. 1,100 damage for my one. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and say that Yumoja's pretty up there right now. Oh my lord. Should is this gonna be the first S S plus tier guardian? I don't know. Right now I'm saying she's S S minus, uh, probably on the safe side. Safe side S minus it seems like. Yamoja can do things that other gods can't, which is why I want to rank her higher than certain things. Because if you get a kill, you can use your three to shove the minions under your opponent's phoenix and take it, you know? Whereas in a lot of other duel matches, you get a kill and it's like, okay, now what? I can't take anything, you know? So, well, we'll see, we'll see. Ooh. Why does... Ooh, the new selector is kind of cool. I like that blue color. I like that blue color. All right, I'm going to get a... Let's get Divine Rune first. Um, I am also going to get a Shield of Thorns. Thorns is always good against Pele. It reduces life steal by 50%, and when they build ability life steal, and you know uh, Pele's uh, passive life steal, it's just good to prevent that as much as you can. It's really good. All right. Now, I don't know how safe it is to go to get take a bull demon with the emoja. I don't really want to take it here. I just want to get her over here. Looks like it's working. I 
her use all of her dust. Seems like we can just unlock her. Not OP at all. Well, yeah, that's not broken at all. All right, so we have a choice here. We can try to push minions or take bull demon. I'm gonna say push minions. That is gonna be my, what I'm gonna say. Now, maybe I should have gone to push my other minions, but I'm pushing these ones. I can take it for them. Yeah, so just being able to do that can be pretty helpful sometimes. Um, let's see. Maybe get, get a quarter of it right here. That would be pretty good. I'm pretty safe, actually, just because her ultimate is down. And I do have Bancrofts, so if she tries anything, if she tries anything at all. And we just stun lock her? You said thorns? Oh. Maybe her ultimate wasn't down. I'm an idiot. Whatever. Or it came up. Either way, I mean, it doesn't matter. It just does not matter. Oh, also, I just want to point out she went shell against Yuboja. That is the worst choice you can do because late game, my two shreds through shields. Like, I just used my shield once, my two once, and it's gone. So, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea against Yuboja. But I guess a lot of times I'm going to end up using my one anyway, so I don't know if it matters. Uh, let's get a Obsidian. Just can get Polynomicon as well. This just seems to be going very well, you know? That is just such a big hitbox. I thought they only changed the hitbox on this this ability, right? This version of the one. I didn't realize they changed it on the, the water bouncing as well. We can also still stun Phoenix, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's just push him in. Push him in. Try and take Phoenix. Some more damage. Try and discourage her. Alright. Step back. I have my ultimate. We're just trying to play this. You know, the slow but steady way. Oh, that was bad. Bad only usage there. Eh, I should have stunned her in it, but I screwed up. This is fine. We're in an okay position her ult with her ultimate down. Uh, I don't think she poses that much of a threat, to be honest. Even though I'm at pretty low health and Omi, as long as I have my stun up. She's trying to bait my stun right now. I'm just not going to use it until she's like right on top of me. Just keep healing with, healing with Bancrofts, you know. I'd actually use my two here to clear. I almost never use my two, but it's just kind of fast. And I get to keep my stun up, you know. That seems to be the only time I use my two. If I want to, I'm in a sticky situation, but I have a lot of Omi. And I need to clear the wave or something, but I want to keep my stun ready in case my opponent, you know, aggresses onto me. Can we afford Polly yet? I might skip over Upset and get Polly. Can I not move while searching items anymore? Nope. Okay, you can't move while searching items anymore. That's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know how that broke. Used to be able to move while searching items. I guess can't do it anymore. That's fine. I, mean, I didn't use it that much. Okay, she should be dead. Yeah, one thing is nice to do is wait until the wave collapses. And then that's when you stun them because they're slowed by so much. All right, so here we want to move these minions forward. Perfect. Perfect. Eight seconds. What can I do with eight seconds? I can do like half the Titan's health. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I haven't used my blink once. Thought I was going to aggress more. One strategy I love with Yumoja is to blink on your opponent and ult them in this way where they are trapped between the two walls. That is the biggest advice I can give for Yumoja is just when you ult, you want to keep them between two walls. Like here, right? If she aggressed onto me, I would alter between this wall and that wall. And you would have you want your back facing one of the walls when you ult. It's just it's just a better Odin ult when you do that. Like honestly. 
Um, let's actually skip Obsidian and go Poly. I'm doing plenty of damage, and all I need right now is honestly just the Poly autos to win. Yeah, but Yamoja, she jumped up quite a bit. Um, I'd say if you played her, like, hitting every single ability before, she was like A, A+. Plus. But most of the time, your opponent's going to be juking everything because it was a really slow abilities, you know, and small hitboxes. Well, the hitboxes were fine, but it's just the abilities took some time to go off so that we just juke it. But now, but now they can't really do that. So, you know, we'll give her some time to back. I'm not just going to end it without... Giving her one more fight. I don't like going straight for the Titan unless it's like, I don't know, a certain situation where it's like that's the only thing I can do. Whereas here, I think I'm gonna, I can try to give her one last good fight. You know? Let's see, is she gonna try and get out? Ooh, good beats. Okay, she does not look like she's gonna fight us, so that was her chance. I mean, it's just not really. It's not like. It's not like she could do anything against that. I feel scummy. I feel scummy after playing Emoja. GG, man. That is so much stronger. I cannot stress that is so much stronger than the previous patch. I gotta play some more Emoja and see, see what's happening. I hope... I always hate when one of my favorite gods becomes scummy. But I loved her playstyle so much before the buff that I don't want to stop playing her, you know? Whoa, did you guys see those MMR numbers? What the heck? GG. Uh, let's look at the match details. Yeah. Yeah, Emojis 1 is very strong now. I don't know. I'll play some more matches. You guys let me know how your matches have been going with Emoja in duel. I've heard she's extremely strong. Too strong in other game modes now. And she was already too strong before, but they, you know, they buffed her. But tell me how she is in duel, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.